Leandro De Niro Rodriguez has died. Rodriguez had a small role in the 2018 film A Star Is Born. On July 2nd, a devastating incident rocked the entertainment world, leaving us in shock. Leandro De Niro Rodriguez, a promising young actor and the beloved grandson of Robert De Niro, tragically lost his life. Initially, there was no news about the cause of his death, but his grieving mother, Drina De Niro, revealed that Leandro had unknowingly consumed pills laced with fentanyl. Questions arose, such as who sold him the drugs? On July 13th, a 20-year-old woman named Sophia Haley Marks, aka Percocet Princess, was arrested in New York as part of a drug-dealing investigation linked to Leandro's untimely demise. Despite his tragic end, Leandro's talent had already shown brightly at the age of 19, starring alongside his mother in notable films like A Star Is Born and Cabaret Maxime. Another beloved star, Andrea Evans, who rocked the soap opera world with her portrayal of troubled teenager Tina Lord on One Life to Live, passed away on July 9th at the age of 66. Hailing from Aurora, Illinois, Evans left her mark on daytime television, earning her two daytime Emmy nominations for her work on One Life to Live and the web series Divanity. She was a true soap opera queen gracing our screens on shows like The Young and the Restless, The Bold and the Beautiful, Passions, and The Bay. To add to her remarkable legacy, Evans had recently finished writing her memoir, fittingly titled My One Life to Live. It's incredible to think that she shared her personal journey just before bidding us farewell. If you've watched All My Children, then you're probably familiar with the groundbreaking character Zoe, portrayed by the talented actor Jeffrey Carlson. Sadly, we received news of Jeffrey's passing on July 6th at the age of 48, leaving us in deep sorrow. This loss has left a void in the entertainment world, particularly in the realm of LGBTQ representation. The announcement of Jeffrey's death came from Susan Hart, a fellow actor from the Chicago Shakespeare Theater, who shared her heartbreak on Facebook. She referred to Jeffrey as a sweet prince among men, emphasizing the immense impact he had on those who knew him. The news hit hard, and the shock and grief were evident in her heartfelt words. While the cause and manner of Jeffrey's passing are yet to be determined, his sister, Elizabeth Carlson Gingras, expressed her profound love and disbelief over the loss of her handsome and exceptionally talented brother. She struggled to find the words to convey just how special he was, highlighting the impact he had on countless people's lives. Jeffrey Carlson's portrayal of Zoe was truly groundbreaking, breaking barriers and bringing important visibility to the transgender community. His character represented a significant step forward in LGBTQ representation, and his talent left an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers. Next up, the woman who inspired the iconic Hermes bag and captivated hearts with her charm and elegance has left us, and the world feels a little less glamorous without her. On July 16th, at the age of 76, we said goodbye to the remarkable British actress herself, Jane B. Known for her magnetic presence and sophisticated style, Jane B. was the epitome of French chicness, despite her British roots. Her allure was simply irresistible, and she left an indelible mark on the fashion and cultural landscape. The news of her passing struck a chord, and the head of the French Ministry of Culture, Rima Abdul Malak, aptly described her as the most French of Britons. Jane B. embodied mischief and impertinent elegance, characteristics that made her an everlasting symbol of an entire era. She was more than just an actress, she was an idol, a murmuring voice that whispered inspiration into the hearts of many. Her influence stretched far beyond the silver screen, forever engraved in the hearts of admirers around the world. It is well known that depression and anxiety are often silent battles that many people face, even those who appear to have it all. This sad truth was once again highlighted in July 2023 with the tragic loss of Coco Lee, the talented voice behind the Mandarin-dubbed version of Mulan. At just 48 years old, Coco's life was cut short due to suicide on 5th July. It's important to acknowledge that mental health struggles can affect everyone, regardless of their external success or accomplishments. Coco's sister, Nancy Lee, bravely shared the heartbreaking news on Instagram, shedding light on Coco's ongoing battle with depression. Despite seeking professional help and fighting with all her might, the darkness within her became overwhelming. 
While Coco Lee will always be remembered for her remarkable portrayal of Mulan's voice, her talent extended far beyond that. She was a renowned singer and actress, captivating audiences with her performances and touching hearts with her voice. Coco's legacy will forever remind us of the importance of compassion and support for those battling with mental health issues. Rock music has lost another legend in July 2023, leaving us with a heavy heart. George Tickner, the co-founder and original rhythm guitarist of Journey, passed away at the age of 76 on July 5th. His impact on the rock music scene cannot be overstated. George was there from the beginning, co-founding Journey alongside talented musicians like Neil Sean, Prairie Prince, Greg Rowley, and Ross Valerie back in 1973. Together, they created a sound that would become iconic. George's songwriting and compositional skills shone through, with notable contributions to Journey's first three albums, including the unforgettable tracks Of A Lifetime and Mystery Mountain. Despite his immense talent and success in the music industry, George Tickner decided to embark on another path. He left the band to pursue a PhD at Stanford University, thanks to a full scholarship. Although his academic pursuits took him away from the rock and roll stage, his connection with the founding members of Journey remained strong. In fact, they reunited when Journey received their well-deserved star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2005. George Tickner's journey was one of passion, talent, and intellectual curiosity. His legacy as a co-founding member of Journey and his significant contributions to their early success will forever be remembered. During the 1960s and 70s, a dynamic era known as New Hollywood emerged, revolutionizing the film industry. And amidst this creative wave, Lawrence Terman stood as a pioneering producer, leaving an indelible mark on cinema. Tragically, on July 1st, at the remarkable age of 96, we said goodbye to this legendary figure who played a key role in shaping the landscape of filmmaking. One of Terman's most notable achievements was the iconic movie The Graduate. This cinematic gem was crafted from scratch under Terman's visionary guidance. Not only did he assemble an exceptional cast and crew, but he also recruited the legendary duo Simon and Garfunkel to create the memorable music that perfectly complemented the film's themes. Alongside director Mike Nichols, Terman transformed The Graduate into a timeless classic that continues to captivate audiences to this day. Beyond The Graduate, Terman's producing credits boasted an impressive array of diverse and thought-provoking films. From the powerful drama The Great White Hope, to the intense thriller Pretty Poison and even the critically acclaimed American History X, Terman's portfolio showcased his ability to bring impactful stories to life. He also contributed to John Carpenter's unforgettable 1982 remake of The Thing, further demonstrating his versatility as a producer. Not only was Lawrence Terman a force in the film industry, but he was also dedicated to cultivating future talent. For three fruitful decades, Terman served as the chair of USC's Peter Stark Producing Program, shaping the minds of aspiring producers and instilling in them the passion and knowledge necessary for success. As we bid farewell to Lawrence Terman, we celebrate his immense contributions to the world of cinema. His innovative spirit and creative vision have left an indelible legacy.